Hi guys, welcome to the garage. Uh, I'm gonna do a little update video on what I've been working on on the Ecotech. It's probably not gonna seem like I've been doing a lot, but in actuality, um, once you get some big pieces in place, like setting the motor on here, there's a lot of little things, a lot of little things, that you then have to do in order to, um, you know, keep the project moving forward. So I took the engine cage from the air-cooled motor I really didn't think it would fit at all. I kind of thought I would have to make a completely new one. Why well, I actually sized it up here and you can see it it's pretty it's a pretty close fit, but it fits. I've got clearance all over the place here, yet I'll still be I'll, I'll still be able to use the the tow hook and the license plate. The license plate will go here and that that works and the clearance is pretty good. Now, originally it had the supports that came out here and, and they cradled the air-cooled motor because it was a boxer, so it came out here. And it, it worked really well with that, but it looked it didn't look right on this motor because there's not much going on here, and so it had these wide pieces coming out here. But even on this side, it had these pieces coming out and it, it didn't look right. And I, you know, I don't want to half-ass any of this. I want this to be really nice. I want everything that I've done on here I'm, I'm really proud of. So I want to take all the time that I need to, even if it means I'm going to be cutting stuff out that I've already done and, and redo it, that's fine because I want it to be want it to be really nice. So one thing I had to do uh, right off the bat was the cage needed to be moved about two inches farther back. So what I did there is I just I propped it up here in place. I took all the measurements that I needed I cut off the old mounts and I, I fabricated new mounts that were about two inches longer. I did that down here and you can't see that, but I did the same thing up here. When I put this motor on here and I hung it on here, there were a couple of things that I needed to figure out. Can I get this fourth coil pack out and can I get the spark plug out? Because uh, at the back end of the motor here, there's not a lot of room up above there. And then on top of that, can I get the valve cover off? I want to be able to get the valve cover off. If I can't get the valve cover off, that's going to be a problem. I don't know if I want the motor sitting in here knowing that I can't get the valve cover off. So if I can't get the valve cover off, I might make some changes to the chassis here to give me a little bit of access so that I can get the valve cover off, take the coil pack off, and get the spark plug out. I think those are important things. So let's take this apart and see if we do, in fact, have access to all those things or if I need to make some further changes. So I can get the spark plug out. I can get all the coil packs out. I can get the last, I know I can get the other three spark plugs out, but I can get the last spark plug out. So that's good news. So everything is loose on this valve cover. Let's see if it actually comes off. Oh, come on. Oh yeah, yep. Yes, sir. Oh, crap. Things just fell out. Yeah. All right, that was close, but close is fine because it works. Ooh, that's a relief. I was, I was very worried 
I was very worried that that would not come off. But it did. It's close on the back side, obviously. It's got the roll cage going right there. So it was close back here, obviously, because it was, it was hitting on the roll bar, and it was really close. These are the, um, these protrusions here are what trigger the camshaft position sensors, but it came off, you know? That's all that matters. It came off. It's close, but it comes off. So that's awesome. That really answers any of my serious questions um, on fitment. The next things that I'm going to be working on over probably the next week or two um, is going to be making the motor mounts, making the rest of the engine cage, and making the exhaust. I'll probably make the exhaust at the same time that I make the engine cage so that I can make it all um, work together. guys that's it we uh, I showed you what I've been doing on the cage worked on that most of today and we found out that we can take the coil pack out the spark plug out and the valve cover off which is totally awesome because that means I don't have to make any changes to that top bar that runs across the chassis so I'm stoked about that now in the next couple of weeks I think we'll be working on rear cage and exhaust thanks for watching the video guys I hope I see you on the next one take care